Hey makers, this is Dhruveen and today let's talk about some another cool component of Creator Kit. Today we will talk about panel component and dialogue component. So let's get started and talk more about that thing in detail. So let's say for an example at the end of this video we are going to create this kind of panel component where we can provide any type of title or any type of content and we would be having two buttons cancel and ok and when we click on that appropriate action will be called and same way for dialogue we are going to create this kind of dialogue which is showing this type of pop-up box for us. So let's get started and explore these two components in detail. But before that, if you haven't followed me on my Twitter and Instagram so far, please do follow me because these are the platform where I'm uploading short content of Power Platform. Also, I have provided the link of Creator Kit playlist in the description box. So if you haven't visited part one to three, please visit there from there. So without further delay, let's get started. Here I have opened the blank canvas app and first let's add those components. For that, click on plus button and click on get more components. We have already installed the power app cat component library. And from here, let's add our panel component and dialogue component and click on import. The component has been added successfully. Now, first let's add panel component on the screen. So I'm adding this panel component and this is looking like this. Over here, we need to configure the different property. The first property here is buttons. So what type of button you need? So over here, you can see we have cancel button and OK button and they have provided the button type as well. Now, based on your need, you can change this thing based on your requirement. Now, let me just do one thing like let me configure the title. In title, I'm just providing a title as cybersecurity. And after that, you can just provide the content as well over here. So for that, we just need to provide the appropriate content into subtitle section. And in subtitle, you can just provide any content like this is content. Over here, there is an option as well. What would be the color for the overlay? So let's say for an example, if I need this type of gray color for the overlay, I can provide this kind of color or if I don't want to provide any color, then I can just keep this one. Similar way, you can just consider the dialogue width as well. So at this moment it is 400, but let's say a few hundred, 600. So you can see that this dialogue width will be increased or decreased based on that. Apart from that, we have a position of the panel where we need that either left or right. So if we select left, this panel will be opened on the left hand side like this and right means it will just open it on right hand side. Same way theme option, which I already explained in first video. So I'm not repeating that again. Now there are two property on close select and on button select on close select means which means on a close icon what we want to do and on button select means whatever buttons that you provided what you exactly want to do when you click on that so now let's apply some code on that so let's say for an example on button select let's apply one switch operation i'm pasting some sort of code like if self dot selected button dot label equal to ok then we just want to notify the ok button was pressed and let's say for an example if cancel button is click we just want to notify the cancel button is click so i'm just writing the code here and after that we want to close the panel so we were just using show hide dialog as false and we will just click on our dialog control and just go to the visibility property and just provide that variable over there now let's uh, do one more thing. Let's add one button control on the screen and we just want to open our pop-up when we click on the button. So we will use same code with update context with variable true. So let's apply code update context show high dialogue is true. When we click on that, it is just open that. Now let's say I'm clicking on cancel button. So it is showing me that cancel button was pressed and after that it just hide. I'm clicking on this again, clicking on OK and it is showing that OK button was pressed. Uh, it's fine. Then let's say on close button, I just want to close it. So what I'll do here is I'm just selecting this, 
on this close button select uh, let's just provide a property that this dialog should close so let's apply the similar code over here <coughs> so i'm just pasting the same code that show hide dialog box should be false and now let's taste it again clicking on close and it just close reopening it again and this button is clicked right so this is how you can configure your panel control so this is really cool and amazing component because now let's say for an example if you have some requirement where you want to open couple of thing into your this panel then this is really really helpful to you now similar way let's explore the dialog component so for that i am going to create a new page for that so let me create a new screen and let me add my dialog control over here so i'm going to insert and this is the one which we have added initially so we just added that component and now over here as well there are different property like first is button property where you can just con uh, create what are the buttons that you need like cancel and ok button this is something that you need then you need to configure the title so let's say i am just providing a title like are you sure you want to do it so i'm just changing the title then overlay color as well you can change it from here so let's say i need overlay something like this i'm just changing like this then uh, dialog width and height as well you can manage it from here so 500 cross 500 if you want this so uh, you can just simply change that height and width like this and uh, let's say if you just want to provide any title of subtitle like i'm just providing some sort of dummy text here delete record and then theme i explained already that in my first video so i'm just skipping that part and close button so when we click on this close button cross icon what should happen we need to write here and similar way on button select what we want to do so same code we will apply similar like the panel component here selecting on button select property expand it let's paste the code and if it is okay it will just creating notify like this and cancel notify like this now let's click on the button i'm playing it clicking on okay okay button is clicked cancel cancel button is clicked right it is working as expected whatever you want to perform after that you can just utilize that based on your need and similar way let's say for an example if you need to apply close on this close button let's just have a command like update context and show hide dialog show hide dialog should be false and let's just copy this variable and just provide it on visible condition so by default it is false let's say i'm adding one button control and on button control i'm just writing a code show high dialog is true and when i click on that pop-up is open when i cancel it it hides and showing notification clicking on ok hide and notification so this is how you can simply configure your dialog component now at the end let me just decrease the dialog height so it looks clean and this is how the fluent ui component is looking like isn't it cool so that's it for today you created your panel and dialog component successfully with fluent ui if you really like this video don't forget to hit thumbs up and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel if you want to learn about other creator kit component, this is a separate dedicated playlist for that. Go to the playlist section and you can see everything over there. Also, if you are for the first time to my channel, make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from me. Are you looking for any training or paid consultation? The website link is available over here. Just write me there and we can connect after that. And don't forget to follow me on my Twitter, Instagram, podcast all the links are available on the channel cover right page with this this is Thruveen signing off see you in the next session with some amazing content till then have a great day goodbye